Good part of the day, my dear digital friends. Anna Dieter is here. Today is Wednesday, December the 30th. It's 2 p.m. in the northern Florida in the United States of America. And I am here live, hoping to see more people asking more questions about what is stuttering, what is normal speech, and most importantly, what needs to happen for anyone to stop stuttering in almost no time. Don't like the lighting today. Okay, it's kind of, okay, I need to move here. Okay, I always like to have perfect picture. <laughs> okay, no, I think I'm fine. So while I am still waiting for more people to join me, because that's what Instagram is telling me, it's saying we're telling your followers that you have started a live video. Hang on. We are telling more followers to join your video. Hi, Martinez. Thank you so much for joining. Let me wave to you. Good to see you today. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> and while we are still waiting for people to join, let me tell you that I guess today is the last video broadcast, live broadcasting I'm doing this year. And of course, look at me, I'm wearing Christmas clothes, winter holiday sweater. So today is probably the last day when I'm live broadcasting, answering questions, motivating people who stutter to simply understand that yes, they can transmit, transport themselves, change themselves from I can't to yes, I can. And this is the little lecture I have prepared to share with you today. As I'm waiting for the questions, let me do a little <clears throat> presentation. And for this, I'm going to switch. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to switch to the screen. Okay. And I'm going to go right here to my Instagram. This is the Instagram image that I have posted not a long time ago. Let me look on the other screen. I guess we can do it this way to make the screen bigger. And I'm going to go back here. So here is, I don't know what happened. Okay. So if you have been watching me and listening to me, for quite some times, or if you have stumbled on my live broadcast video first time in your life, then let me explain to you. My name is Anna Dira, and I'm the only English speaking person on the planet who can help anyone to simply <clears throat> change themselves, to change the faith from believing and thinking that you cannot do something in the way other people are doing it to finally understanding that yes you can do it exactly in the same way how all other people on the planet are doing it and i'm going to begin with sharing with you the image that i posted on instagram the image is explaining what etalon unblocking school really is. The image is showing the real image of a school. This is the school that I actually have graduated from in Russia. <laughs> okay, this is the school that really exists. The old school made of bricks, red bricks. And of course, the rest is Photoshop. You see the image of the school and the title of this school, which is of course today is totally online school. It's called Edelon Unblocking School. 
And in the windows of this school, you can see that on the left, you see a couple of windows. And in those windows, you see a couple of images of, of course, my former students, when they really could not speak. You can see in the images how they are embarrassed of their own words that they were attempting to say. And they really believe that they can't speak. This is what each and every student who joins me in, who enrolls in my school, joins in my classes that I teach online. They all are totally convinced. They believe in this untruth. They believe that they can't speak in the way other people are speaking. They truly believe in this. So, and you can see that their images are in the shadow, kind of like in the darker part of the building, in the shadow. But then they enroll in the Erlon and Blooking School, and they, in three days or even less, recently I have had quite a few people who have enrolled in my classroom, in my class, and they have learned only in one day that yes, they can. They have discovered it, that yes, they can speak in the way all other people on the planet are speaking, with no difficulties, with no blocks, with no fear of speaking. How did they do it? We're going to talk about it today. Thank you so much. The diving deep, diving deep, you just joined me. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, and I'm going to continue. So what I have introduced to the world of so-called stuttering cure the people who are involved in the stuttering cure business. It's millions and millions of people on the planet. About 80 million people who do believe that there is something wrong with them, that they are genetic freaks, that they are born differently, different, and they are broke, broken, and they can never speak in the same way how the rest of the world population, the rest of human beings are speaking without making mistakes. And even if a normal person does make a mistake, which happens sometimes, okay? So it's not a problem for a normal speaker because the normal speaker realizes, big deal, I just made a mistake. I'm gonna fix my mistake right away because I know that when I speak, I can say any word, any time, anywhere. Yes, there are times when I'm shy. There are times when I am distracted from speaking and I am focused on something much more important than my speech. And that those moments, of course, I cannot speak. They realize it. And this is why it's not a problem for them. So the bottom line, Etalon Unblocking School is your path from I can't, believing that you can't, to I can. When my students join the class, hi, Dimitri, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. Okay, so Etalon Unblocking School is the path for any person on the planet who stutters, stammers, clutters, or is simply fearful to speak in public. It's a 100% guaranteed solution for any person who still believes that there is something wrong with him and he cannot speak like everyone else. It's the path from I can't to I can. And while we're still waiting for other people to join, let me just read the article that I wrote here on Instagram and people on YouTube. By the way, 
those who are watching me on Instagram, I truly recommend that you do come to me on YouTube because YouTube, Facebook are the places where you can see everything clearly. Right now, oops, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. I don't need to share photo or video with your viewers. No. Oh, okay, I clicked the wrong button. Okay, now I'm back to people on Instagram can see me. So here we go. I'm going to read the article for those of you who cannot see the images on Instagram. I do recommend that you go and join, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anna Dieter is my YouTube channel. So, and by the way, bear with me. Today we have a very, very interesting lesson because every My Life broadcast is a lesson for those who are ready to learn, wanting to learn. What is normal speech? What is stuttering and how you can get rid of stuttering in only three days or even less. Okay, let me quickly check if we have anyone, any questions already. Hi, Akhtar Muhammad. Thank you for joining. Very good to see you. So let me continue. So if you cannot do something, we will teach you so you would understand that yes you can do it if you do not feel like doing it don't want to do it we will motivate you to do it we will push you give you a little kick in your ass go do it go do it go do it and you will do it and you will finally learn to become just like everyone else this message actually is not just for people who stutter, but it's more for people who I am so excited to be preparing to teach somewhere in March. This is my plan, maybe March, maybe a little bit later, but right now I have a plan to begin educating those who will become Adelon speech educators. And I am willing, I'm getting ready to teach the college course for those who will be teaching people who start a stammer clutter to do what I am doing, to give them help so they could quit stuttering in three days or less in their countries, in their languages. So if you know any speech therapist, any special education teacher, any person with at least education of at the level of bachelor's degree, and if they are interested to learn a new profession of the Adelon speech educator and making money of teaching this information almost right away. So even during their internship, so let them know to come to me and ask about this new program that I'm planning to begin teaching in March of 2021. Interesting year. I know this is going to be a very, very special year, a special year where a lot of changes will take place at the global level. Hi, Anas. Good to see you. Okay. So this message is, of course, for people who stutter, but most of all, it's for people who want to teach the new profession called Adelon Speech Education. It's a message for mental health professionals. What can you as a practitioner do if you're 100% physically normal student or patient pretends to be disabled and constantly repeat, I can't do this. I am not capable of doing this. I will not make it. What are you going to do about this? Because these kind of students do exist. These kind of patients 
do come to therapists, to teachers, and they, no matter what you tell them, they keep telling you, I can't, I can't, I can't. And they do not do even what the teacher tells them to do. First of all, you as a practitioner would need to explain to yourself the situation in which you find yourself. So you would not become infected with the attitude, I cannot, or it doesn't work. I really, really want you to understand that your situation is called my patient or student is a chronic simulator, a chronic pretender. And this is a very serious problem for any therapist or a teacher. Chronic simulation, chronic desire to constantly pretend that a person cannot do something that in reality he can, is usually performed by patients with a concomitant diagnosis of some kind of a form of schizophrenia. It's a very serious mental illness. Instead of following your, as a practitioner, your logical thinking, a schizophrenic student will always impose his pathological, crazy, insane thinking on the practitioner, on you, on a therapist, on a teacher. Because his main motivation, his main desire, motive is as following. Whatever they tell me, I will not do what they tell me. I will do everything in the way I believe I want to do it. I will do it on my own, in my own way, anyway, no matter what they say, in spite and against the common sense. I will actively impose my nonsense, my delirium. The student with schizophrenia, he's crazy. He's insane. He doesn't understand what's really going on in this world. But he will constantly ask his questions. He will constantly involve the practitioner in this useless, never-ending conversations. And the moment you will answer one question, he's going to generate the next one. And every next question will be less and less relevant to what actually the student needs to learn. It's going to be completely irrelevant to the subject or, in the case of stuttering, in the subject of naturally, normal, balanced, beautiful, accurate speaking. So, I will, what do you do and how, so how can you work with such a difficult patient, difficult student? What should you do with this kind of a person? There is only one way to help a schizophrenic patient who is pretending that he cannot do it, pretending his disability, pretending being disabled. There is only one way to help this person. And it is an unconscious transformation of his self destructive motives and destructive self-destructive again goals it is very important to clearly realize that all the i cannot of such a patient or a student is not a reality but it is he is a her delirium nonsense and a form of your manipulation this is the way the schizophrenic client or patient or student wants to manipulate a teacher or a therapist. You need to understand that if you are a practitioner dealing with those with some kind of a form of schizophrenia, they are really good manipulators, really, really good manipulators. Conscious 
persuasion and convictions of the schizophrenic will not help to achieve progress and his movement, his transition from I can't to I can. This will never ever happen if a practitioner, you as a practitioner, will be referring to his mind. This is why when you are dealing with those who has any form of schizophrenia, make sure you don't give him anything, any food to his mind. You just need to tell them exactly what they need to do. And every time they ask a question, you do your best not to get yourself involved with a discussion with a person who is simply confused. I mean, insanely confused. But just give him instructions and make sure you push this person to do, to complete the tasks. Do exactly what you tell him to do without any discussions. And of course, this is the only way to help any student who stutters with even a slightest form of schizophrenia to get rid of stuttering. So if your client has an intact muscle, if your student has a muscle, has a tongue, it only means one thing, that he has the power to move it. He has the power to use his tongue anywhere, anytime, that he has, he possesses a full capability to learn using this muscle productively. Each I can't of a simulator, the one who pretends he can't, okay? Each I can't of a simulator is not the weakness of a real handicapped person, disabled person, no. It is an ordinary simulation, pretending that a person cannot do it to manipulate people around him or her, okay? And if you wanna learn about what it means, why a lot of people who stutter are great manipulators, great manipulators, you just ask a question about that and I will go into the details. So once again, only the one who, okay, so each I can't of a simulator is not the weakness of a real disabled person, but it is an ordinary simulation. Only the one who does not have an intact muscle, of course, cannot learn to use it. And you probably have seen people, for example, without legs, of course, they can never learn to walk with the legs. They don't have a muscle. They don't have muscles. And they cannot learn to use those muscles for the action. So if a person does not have arms, of course, he will never play basketball. He will never dribble the ball. He doesn't have the muscles. How can he learn to do it? If the person doesn't have limbs at all, no legs, no arms, then you know what? This person will never ever learn to ride a bicycle because he simply does not have muscles, okay? But you gotta understand, if people who started do have the tongues, it only means that they can learn to move it and they must simply learn to move it and focus on this muscular action, muscular action of their body in the same way we always focus. For example, when we are writing, we are focusing on the movement of our hand. We don't even realize that. It's so obvious. We're feeling, it's called sensory feedback. We're getting sensory feedback from our muscles moving and we know that we are doing a good job, okay? So once again, if you have the muscle, then you can learn to use it, okay? 
So this is a little article I had to present to you. And if there are no questions, then I'm going to continue with my thing today, with my theme. And today I was going to share with you the newest compilation, newest compilation. I want to present the results of my work as a video compilation. Let me see if I have questions on. Okay, I have Ahtar. Ahtar, you can write his your questions here. Okay, I do not see any questions. Then let me begin sharing with you an amazing, amazing stories of a few of my students. And once again, those of you who want to see this compilation, I really recommend you go and join my YouTube channel because that's where you can see clearly everything. Yeah, I do my best to share it on Instagram as well. But here we go. Let's begin. So I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. Stop sharing screen and now begin sharing screen and this time i will share screen with my youtube channel okay here we go so now on the screen you can see okay let me go check what i have right here yes i'm gonna do it this way no no no, no. i'm gonna do it this way so you could see the image of my students much better. So I will begin telling you like briefly stories of this, my former graduates, and I have done the best collection of the best students. Of course, all of my students have exactly the same results, but I have selected just different countries, okay? So let's begin. Let me see if I can show it to you. Yes. Here we go. You can see my whole screen. You know what? You don't see. You don't have to see me. But I want you to see people who are, or, blah, blah, who are on Instagram. So let's begin. Oh, I have to go to YouTube. So I, yeah. So here we go. This is before the class and day number one. Let me begin. You see a young gentleman from the United States of America. English is not his first language, but when he came to me, he spoke like this. Oh, no. Okay, and this is day number three. Here, I'm going to show it to you. See, it says day number three. Okay, three. So basically, two days later. Okay, I'm going to make it smaller so you could see it on my computer. Two days later, because this is the beginning of day number three. This is when I usually give my students examination at the end of the class. Okay, so listen to what this gentleman said. And by the way, he has been through hell of all kinds of speech therapies. He has tried and tried and tried. I think he was like 24 years old. I don't remember right now. If you guys are interested, you can go join my YouTube channel. And there is a longer full video over there where I think his name was Brian. Yeah, Brian was sharing his story, how he went through different speech therapies. He did speech therapy in school. Then he went to a few more different programs. So, but this is a compilation. So listen to what he had to say at the end of the class, day number three. I did for proper adjustments. After that, I started seeing that speaking was not as hard as it used to be. Did you hear what he just said? Speaking is not as hard as it used to be because, and the first part, I think I kind of cut it off. He said, 
I am starting to see, or I've started seeing it. This is what we do. We transfer our students, we help them transfer from I can't see what speech and speech instrument is to yes, I can. So he just said, I can see that stuttering is not that difficult, is not that hard to do. After taking the course, I understand it makes See what he said? After taking the course, I understood everything. It makes sense. Yes. I'm applying it. It's working. And I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay. So you heard what he said. He was, he learned what to do. He started applying it. And as long as he is doing it, he is using his speech instrument just like everyone else on the planet. There are no techniques, no methods, nothing artificial. He has just learned what speech instrument he has and how to use it. After years of wasting on different recommendations, years of wasting on waiting for someone to come and save him, he has finally decided to roll up his sleeves, get a job, earn the funds to take his online speech education course. And guess what? He fixed his life once and for all in three days. So now you see a picture of one of my relatively recent student about six months ago, maybe or so. This is a 12-year-old girl from Hong Kong. And if you want, you can go and see the full video. It's absolutely mind-blowing. The information this mother and daughter were sharing in the video is mind-blowing. I do recommend go and join the, my YouTube channel. Subscribe and don't forget to like. So, of course, I decided to, I mean... I decided to cover the face of this girl because the mother was worried about her daughter. And of course I did it, but I still wanted you to see what it is when a person stutters and what kind of students come to us after having through all kinds of speech therapy, conventional speech therapy, this little girl, has been through all kinds of speech therapies, okay? And after that, 13-year-old, I think she was 12 and she was kind of going to turn 13. This is how she spoke, just listen. <laughs> Did you see that? I could not look at this girl without feeling pain in my heart. It was so painful to listen to her. I saw her mother sitting and crying, looking at her own daughter. But three days later, you already caught a little moment. See again, day number three, in the beginning of the day number three, watch what this girl is saying. Pay attention, not to how she's speaking, because this is easy. She is using her speech instrument correctly in the way God has given, has given the speech instrument to everyone, including you people who started. If you're watching this video, you have exactly the same speech instrument. You're just not using it correctly yet. You haven't learned how to use it yet, okay? But listen to what this little girl is saying. What happened after graduation from this three-day course? Listen. I no longer shudder, and I can speak clearly and fluidly. I would like to say thank you to Edda, and Ramon, I used to beg 
for the teacher not to pick on me just because I would stutter. But now I'm raising my hand as soon as they even ask a question and I am begging for them to pick on me. That is how much this course has changed my life. Okay, so I had to stop here because I want you guys to just analyze what you just heard. What this little girl just said, she has, okay. she used to hide. When she would step in the classroom, she would hide behind her classmates back and praying, hoping that the teacher would not ask her to answer any questions. She was hiding from life. She was so fearful of speaking up in front of her classmates because she was afraid that her classmates would make fun of her. She was living in constant fear, constant fear. She was constantly anxious. Every time she would have to go to school, she would be anxious. How will my day look like? The fear of speaking was always with her. It never left her. It was so, so scary for a little girl to go to school. Can you imagine? I mean, if you are a person who stutters, of course you can imagine. Because 80 million people on the planet still believe that they can't speak. They still believe it and they still are feeding this negative energy that possesses their mind. They still believe it and this is why they can never get rid of stuttering because they believe they can't. Only when you step inside of the Erlon unblocking classroom, inside of the Erlon unblocking school, we will help you. We will guide you through the maze of your confused mind. You will understand. Speaking is really not difficult. It's really not hard to do. It's pleasant. It is so pleasant to speak because the bottom line, what is speech? Speech is the little stream of air. Air, it's so light. It's so easy to move the stream of air but you believe that you can't. This is your main problem. So I do recommend guys, take at least one day course from of Erlon Speech and Blocky and leave this nightmare in 2021. 2021, free yourself from this nightmare called stuttering disability. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> Let me see if I have any questions on YouTube because I usually have more students. Okay, what is today? Today is Wednesday. Ah, okay. Wednesday, I usually do not have too many people on Wednesday. I get it. Okay, but let's continue. So let me go back to YouTube right here. Okay, let's see who is the next one. I don't remember. Okay, let me explain to you. This gentleman is living in Canada. Amazing man. Absolutely amazing man. With a huge heart. With big ambitions. He actually was dreaming when we were talking. He was dreaming to become a professional fitness trainer. But he still believed that he could not speak. He couldn't do it. He still was feeding the energy of I can't. He was actually acting like a five-year-old child. And that was his main block, main problem. Just listen to what was he saying on day number one. Okay, here we go. Before the class, just watch him. This is absolutely incredible. I'm not going to interrupt his speech in the beginning of the class when he was still blocked. See the word blocked? Blocked. 
Yes. And the main block for him was he still believed that he couldn't speak. His main words were, I can't. I can't. He kept repeating me, I can't. Okay. Did you hear what he said? Unfortunately, I did my best to make just one minute video. I always want to make it short. But if you guys want to see in details the story of this gentleman, his name was Mark, I remember. So Mark was leading alone, of course, already because he wasn't a young guy. He was actually working. He was working at the gas station. His story is absolutely incredible. He believed that, once again, he believed and supported this phrase, I can't. And that was not just about speaking. It was about everything in his life. And I remember he even said in the video, he said, Anna, this, your class, I think he's going to say it in this video. So he even listened to his mother who was telling him, a 30 plus year old man, the mother was telling him, Mark, it's time for your haircut. When are you going to do haircut? And he was listening to his mother. He was discussing when it was the right time to do a haircut because he believed that someone knows better. The mother can and he can't. He still was believing that he was kind of, it was a mentality of a little child. That was so, so difficult. And he struggled. Okay. Now let's, and of course he's been, he's tried to get rid of stuttering for years. Very hard. But he still could not achieve the result that he has achieved in only three days of the Erlon unblocking school curriculum so let's listen a lot oh. with not just my story but my whole life my confidence has gone to the roof in short three days and i am really excited i can't believe it this is awesome i can talk to people and talk to people outside my house and I want to talk to girls, maybe get a girlfriend, maybe marriage someday. I have a new vibe. It feels like I am invincible. Like it just feels like I am able to talk and say what I want. I feel the stutter is gone. Okay. So you saw that gentleman, Mark, and he really, and this is what we do. Please understand. We don't know, I don't share any techniques. I just help people to awaken their own soul, to awaken because their human soul is asleep right now. People who start to believe that they can't. I can't. I can't. Very few of them pretend and have like little kind of form of schizophrenia. Yes, there are some of them, but not too many, fortunately. Most of them are rational people. They just really, truly believe that they can't. And when my students come in my classroom, when they step in the classroom, guess what happens? I simply help them realize, help them experience, yes, you can and they stop believing this i can't experience yes i can and stuttering disappears right away instantly instantly of course there is a little work and maybe for some people not a little because yes of course after the class the students need to learn words because how can you speak if you don't know words you may know how these words sound. You may know how the words can be written with the muscles of your hand. 
But if you do not have the muscle memory of your tongue, you don't know words. And you need to learn those words. You need to develop the skill of saying all these words, not with any other muscles, but with your tongue. And this is exactly what happens in the Erlon classroom. And people are just amazed with the results they get in only three days. And by the way, these days even less. Okay, let me quickly look back, go back to YouTube and see. No, I still don't have anybody. Okay, cool. Let's continue. So this little guy is 12 year old. I really loved him. His name was Ezra. Ezra. So once again, what you see here, this is day number one before the class. To the right to him, there is his mother sitting. This video shows only this kid. And uh, when the quarantine started, yes, they came to me. And I remember when they were doing the class, the next day Israel was supposed to go to school. Okay. So they, the family was really, really worried about him because sitting at home for such a long time and not speaking at all, his stuttering became even worse. And the family was really worried about him. So they were searching the net. Hi, Teach Speech. Thank you for your like. Thank you for joining. So today I'm sharing the new compilation I created about the video results of my students, of my work, what happens to my students in only three days and sometimes even one day. So I'm talking about it and I'm explaining how things happen. And this compilation is about the students. I've selected just a few students who have worked with me and gained amazing results in only three days. So this little kid is from Australia. I have a whole, I have worked with a whole family from Australia. So listen, this is before the class, once again, for people who just joined, day number one. Okay, so here we go. Watch what this kid is doing. This is just, I cannot even watch it. I close my eyes when I see it because it's so painful to watch. Okay. I started to speak out I meant to stop <laughs> because this is too big of a shock when you hear this kid before and after. And I'll just share with you, even I was amazed with the way this child worked with me. What you see here is he actually started speaking like this on the next day of the class. This is the second day of the class. Watch. And I was excited about it. I was relieved because I was sick of stuttering. Well, thank you. You found this thing, and without it, I wouldn't be speaking accurately right now. I should. Okay. So let's just say a few words. And by the way, feel free to ask any questions. If I teach speech, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, okay? So once again, let's talk about it. This 12-year-old child just lost. I mean, he didn't know, not lost, he didn't even have it. He was lost. He didn't know how to use his speech instrument. And he has spent, I believe, seven years in speech in school speech therapy. He was attending a private speech therapist, but this is what happened to this child. He could not speak well. His progress would come and go, come and go. He would be speaking a little bit better and then stuttering would return. Why? Because everyone was taking him, teaching him a technique. And unfortunately, or fortunately, we do not use any techniques when we speak. 
every normal person on the planet doesn't use any techniques. We speak without techniques. We simply use our speech instrument in the way God created it and has given it to us. Okay? So, yes, poor guy, teach speech, wrote, poor guy, keep up the great work. Thank you so much, teach speech. <laughs> okay. So, once again, that is just hard. I mean, I always, how do you say it, heartbroken when I work with my students. And I'll tell you honestly, the moment I see the student, I already see a picture of the same student starter free, speaking starter free. Okay, and Giomani Loknate cocked. Do you really want to talk to me or you made a mistake? If you want, I can allow you to be in the video. Okay, let me let you in. Go live with Anj Giomani. Don't know if I'm saying correctly your name. Okay, if you want to talk to me, feel free. No problem. I would be happy to talk to you. Hi! Thank Hello, you. Hi. Thank you for not dropping <laughs> the call. Okay. So, what's your name? My name is Mohammed Bagaif. Hi, Mohammed. Hi, Mohammed. I'll just call you Mohammed. Can I? Yes. Thank you for accepting me. No problem. My English is not very good. Sorry. Okay, Mohammed. So, do you have a question? Um, I have a stutter. Uh, I have a stutter from my childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Do you know what, Mohammed? You don't have a stutter in reality. In reality, you do not have a stutter. You simply do not still do not know how to speak without making mistakes in speaking. You need to understand that you were born totally normal. And I'm looking at you. You are 100% normal guy. There is nothing wrong with you. Handsome guy. Look at you. <laughs> Handsome, smart. I can tell. You mean? You mean? I I say my say to myself. I tell myself that I I don't I don't have any problem. You mean this? In a way, yes. But of course, you do have a problem. I see your problems. But you know what the main problem yes. is. The main problem happened when you were young, very young. At some point of your life, you stopped speaking. You stopped speaking. And you believed untruth. Okay. Hi, Christy. Thank you so much for joining. Let me wave to Christy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So when you were young, you believed that you could not speak like everyone else. You probably made a mistake here or there because we all make mistakes when we are learning. Very often people, Thank you. people come to me and very often they ask, they ask me, have you ever been a stutterer? And I say, of course. When I was a little girl, I was born, I didn't know how to speak. I had no idea. <laughs> okay? When I was born, what did I say? Ah! Every child, every newborn baby says only, ah! Right? <laughs> and then right. I started learning. I heard what my mother would say, or my father, or my brothers, or sisters. Okay, or anyone else, and I would start repeating what I heard. I would start adjusting my instrument, musical instrument, which is uh, the tongue. And of course, in the beginning, I was making mistakes, but I never stopped. 
adjusting to my instrument. I and kept you, speaking. So you kept speaking. And positiveness. Yeah, I kept speaking, kept speaking. You stopped because somewhere in your childhood you believed. You may not even remember how it happened. You believed, and you said to yourself, "I can't." Zip. That's it. I can't. And of course, whatever we believe, we get it. We believe what we, I mean, we get what we believe. Hi, Lei Yi, 1997. Thank you for joining God. Thank you. Okay. So this is your only problem. Okay. This is your only problem. You believe you can't, but in reality, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Thank you very much. However, you're right, you're right. However, Muhammad, you have a problem. I know. What? However, of course, you have a problem because you are no longer a baby. Mm, I think it's not a problem. I think everyone. Uh, when when kids are stressed, they stutter. I can be stressed, but I will never stutter because I know how my instrument works. And I have gotten accustomed to my instrument. I can explain any emotion. I can be scared and still speak. I can be angry and still speaking. Doesn't matter. Because I have had a lot of experience. I have never ever said I can't. You have so much positive energy. Thank you. Thank you for your words. And of course, you're very welcome. And this is what I do with each and every student who comes to me, who steps in my school. I help people to transmit to walk through the process from i can't to yes i can God bless you. thank you thank you very much and what i am telling to you muhammad you are not five thank years you. old you're not five years old and when you're making mistakes it's kind of weird for other people and people may laugh at you people may give you this look wow what's wrong with this guy why he is speaking like this this is weird and you may feel uncomfortable you may feel embarrassed ashamed of the way you're speaking you know why yes you know yes what? yes i think i have a right to feel uh embraced and feel shy and and i think um uh, i think i don't uh it's better to stop life and make better oh, and god. oh god you don't know how many people i have worked with who were suicidal i know what you're talking about you know muhammad I recommend, I see that your English is pretty strong. You're good at speaking English. I want to compliment you. I know it's not your first language, right? What country are you from? I think speaking is very important. And when you can't speak, it's you can't live good to... Life. You need yes. to... Listen, Mohammed. when you cannot speak, you know what? You cannot live the life of a human being. This is a very, very sad reality. Very sad. If you want to live like a human, you need to speak because you are the word. You have the word within you. The word. This is who every human is. And I don't know what religion you are with, but I know about the Bible, for example, there is a saying in the Bible, there are many, many religions in the world, and they all actually say the same. In the beginning, yes, was, I, 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 in the beginning, 
Yes, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word is God. <coughs> if you cannot say the word, then you cannot do what God put you on the planet to do. So, Muhammad, have you read this book yet? One Lonely Climb to Success. This is my former student. His name is Hussein. He was born from Saudi Arabia refugee camp. Hussein. I just love him to pieces. <laughs> he is my, one of my favorite students. <coughs> he came to me. He came to me when he was 18 and he wanted he wanted to kill himself. This is why I'm telling you about him. Okay? He was suicidal. He's quite good. Yes, he was suicidal. Yes. I believe in Messiah and Messiah heals. I believe in Yes, but you got to understand, Messiah, listen, Messiah has given you everything to be healthy. You have everything. I believe in them. I believe. Yes. I believe in cross and I believe in Messiah. You're absolutely right. Thank you. So, but now... And happy, happy Christmas. Yeah. So now you simply need to understand. Hi, Jazetta Pasquale. G and you, I don't know, I cannot read this name, sorry. I want to say hi, but I don't know how to read the names. So, Muhammad, the bottom line, go to the website, livestarterfree.com, livestarterfree.com, <coughs> not org, dot com. Download this book, it's free, you don't have to pay anything. Read this book. Read how this kid didn't want to live and how he was asking questions. I was answering his questions. I guided him to learn English language because he couldn't speak English. He was living at that time in Finland. He spoke Arabic, he spoke Finnish, but he didn't know English. So he learned English language. And he learned, he got a job, he earned 6,000 American dollars. Little kid. He worked so hard. Back then the program was this expensive. $6,000 today, it's a little less because it's, we're still in quarantine. And I know people cannot go and work and earn money. So once again, Read the book. You will be amazed. You want inspiration? You want motivation? Read this book. Okay, thank you. Hi, Osman. I download it. I, yeah, yeah. I will download it. And also there is, if you go, subscribe I to my... it inspired me. Yeah, subscribe to I YouTube. Really... Subscribe to YouTube channel. My YouTube, Era Dira, it's my YouTube channel. And you know what? There is a video of his speech, winning speech, in a few months after graduating from my three-day course online. He went on, the, went on and gave a speech during the speech contest, Toastmasters International, and he won the first prize. They gave him a word of best speaker. Best speaker. His name is Hussein. He's just amazing guy. Because he is the one who just never took no for the answer. Never. You have the same power. Uh, never give up. No. Stop believing that you can't. This is a lie. You need to understand. Read the book. You will understand. It. It's a lie. It's the same thing that they say with COVID-19. Put the muzzle over our faces so people would shut up and don't speak. 
because every person is the word, the word. If you can write the word, which you can, I saw the way you wrote, you were great at writing. If you can write a word, then you can say it. It's just different muscle, that's all. Learn to use your N, this muscle. Because for speaking, this muscle doesn't work. We do not speak with hands. We speak only with this, this muscle, with the muscle of your tongue. I'm just waiting, waiting for people. Hi, Fatty Tomato. <laughs> Fatty Tomato, that's a funny name. Okay, so Muhammad, any okay. other questions? Do you have questions? No, thank you very much. Read the book. This is what you need because you mentioned that you don't want to leave anymore. Please understand, this is the plan of the world government. They want us to kill ourselves. Understand, you are a smart guy. They believe they're gods, these schizophrenics, these crazy people like Bill Gates and others. They believe that we are nobody. We need to die out because we destroy the planet. We eat too much. We drink too much. We use too much, too many resources. We need to die. For them, we are useless because they look at us as their slaves. Understand, if you're gonna kill yourself, it's not gonna be the answer. You understand that you're gonna come back because there is no death. Yes, there is a death of the body. You can kill the body, you can, but you're gonna come back and struggle even more in the next life. Okay. Thank you for your help. My heart goes for you, guy. And I hope one day I will see you in my class. Take one day course, at least one. Because even on one day, I will explain to you why you don't need to go to do what Sorry, you're doing. I must go. Sorry, I must go. I'm not holding you. <laughs> of course, go. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you I very much. I wish you success, yeah. of course. Remove. I... Okay, guys. So let me see if there are any questions. Still no questions. Okay, Ahmad, any questions? Let me see if there are questions on YouTube. Then... Okay, there is a question. Hi, Anna. Hi, Ali. Thank you for joining. Hi, Anna. I hope you're well. Oh, of course I'm well. Why wouldn't I be well? I'm working for God. I'm saving souls. I'm saving lives of mostly young people. Why wouldn't I be well? So let me remind you, you guys, you're here. Ask your questions. This is your chance. You can even join me if you're not shy to join me if you stop believing you can't and get ready to believe yes you can see Muhammad just did he just got him call with me and moved his tongue okay but let's continue with video reports that I was sharing with you so bear with me I'm gonna share with you once again of course I recommend you guys join me on YouTube it's easier to watch on YouTube than on Instagram. But let's go. The next video report I was going to show to you today before the New Year's, another person learned and moved from I can't to yes, I can. Her name is Marlies, and she also lives in Australia. Listen, the way she was talking about herself and believing that she can't when she came to me. See, day number one, she came to me. Let's go. Did like, I'm always like, I'm about to just, like, <laughs> it's just not gonna come out the way I want it to. And it always makes me have like anxiety in my chest. 
and my heart rate goes boom, 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 and add up. Okay, so you see the transformation. You want to listen to the transformation? Let me explain to you. She didn't make too many mistakes, right? You heard her speech, but she believed. She kept repeating, I can't. My heart is raising. There is a problem. I can't. La, la, la. She would go in the full video. If you go, guys, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch the full video, she was sharing with me that she was sharing with me. She was saying, I can't. When I am in the store, I wanted for a long time, I wanted to buy some she mentioned something polenta. She showed me, I mean, she told me this story. I wanted to buy polenta, but every time I'm in the store, I cannot find it. And instead of coming to the salesperson and simply asking how to find polenta, I was just walking around and around, couldn't find it, and I would leave the store without buying polenta. So listen what happened to her after the class. I don't remember. I think she's going to talk about it right now. Okay, let me share with you. Here we go. She's sitting together with her husband. Her husband was very, very supportive of her. Of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're just a beautiful person. I just really like you so much. Right now, I feel so in control, so confident. I realize the power of words. This is who you are talking. You're hiding yourself. So who I truly am. You need to do this course so you can be free to be you. You need to do this for yourself, for others to know you. You have something amazing to give to the world. See what she said? You have something amazing to give to the world. You guys have something amazing to give to the world. And this you believe, I can't, I can't, I can't, oh, hiding all the time. Stop it right now. Stop. Understand that, yes, you can. And if you need help with transferring yourself, your mentality from I can't to I can, come to me. Take at least one day. I'm going to walk you through your confused mind. I will help you to walk through this in only one day. Very, very often it happens in only one day. You can't solve your problem in only one day. Let me see if there is any, there are any questions on YouTube. No, no more questions. So let's continue. I'm going to go to YouTube. Okay. So once again, you need to stop believing that you can't and begin moving your instrument. You have the speech instrument. You have the muscle. It means you can always learn to use it. You just need the right teacher. You don't need a therapist. You don't need a doctor because nothing is broken. You're not sick. You're not ill. All you need to do is to understand what kind of speech instrument you have, how you're supposed to use it, learn to use it, and use it for the rest of your life. And of course, enjoy for the rest of your life. Because I know as a teacher, yes, you can speak beautifully. Yes, you can revive your beautifully, beautiful, natural balance, accurate speech in three days only. I can guarantee it to you. I know whenever my students join the classroom, I already see the picture. Like, for example, right now, look at this gentleman. I forgot what country he was from, from somewhere, I think from Sweden. I think he was from Sweden, from Europe. Okay, just listen. The moment I saw him, he looked like, I, I can't, I can't. He looked really down. He was shy. He was embarrassed of himself. He didn't like himself. 
just compare the way he looks here and then three days later. So let me show it to you here, day one, day two. I mean, this is day one, sorry. And then I'm not going to stop it. You're going to see day three. Let's go. Um. I'm going to stop for a second. Did you see how he's shaking his lips? This is called a block. This is what you guys call a block. I totally understand what happens during this time. During this time, he has no idea what to do. He is trying to use his instrument that he has no idea how to use. He is confused. Watch how he is shaking his lips. Gone. This course was very helpful for me. I have a very good experience and now I can see whatever I want to see. So I'm very happy that I took this course and I created my speech and now I can speak in a normal way. Okay. Fatty Tomato wrote to me, I want to be confident about my stutter. But in class, for example, when I have to talk, I get so scared to the point where I start shaking and my heart starts racing, starts racing really fast. Listen, Fatty Tomatoes, who even told you that you can ever be confident about looking like a weirdo, sounding like a crazy guy? When you stutter, you make mistakes. You break words. Fatty tomato. Sorry, I'm just feeling weird about referring to you as fatty tomato. But I would like to know your real name, of course. And I always recommend people have real names and never, and never hide behind fake names. Okay? This is what I recommend. If you want to be confident about anything, stop hiding behind fake names. Get your name out there, okay? Your real name. Because your parents gave you this name for a reason. Okay, I'm gonna show to you myself so I could talk to you. So if you want to be confident, you need to do something that is really beautiful, that you can be proud of. Fatima, good Fatima. So this is a girl, right? I didn't even know Fatty Tomato was a girl. He thought it was a man. <laughs> so Fatima, put your own name. This is my little recommendation. Begin becoming confident with yourself. So if you want to be confident, you need to learn to do something really well, to do something that you can be proud of doing. Are you really proud, Fatima, that you are stuttering? Are you really? How can you be confident about stuttering? You can be confident about stuttering only when you have become already totally insane. If someone has worked on your mind, on your psychic for years, for years, this is what unfortunately too many speech therapists who started themselves, they are doing this criminal, totally criminal work. And I'm not here to criticize anyone. I'm here to offer solutions that work 100% with a 100% guarantee with almost no time. So Fatima, if you want to be proud of yourself, if you want to be confident about your actions you need to stop believing that you can't stop it believe that you are perfect you are just like everyone else you're just simply a newbie you are the beginner of learning to speak you are the beginner of adjusting to your musical instrument mm. I talk about it every time I do live. You have exactly the same instrument as I have. Look at my tongue. Is it any different than yours? 
exactly the same. The only difference between you and me is I have adjusted. I have been accustomed to using my instrument to saying accurately any word, any time in front of anyone. In the classroom, not in the classroom, alone. I don't care because I realize people do not speak with other people. In reality, normal people speak with their instrument. Instrument. We use the instrument to talk about certain things. And in order to speak, we need to be focused on the things we're talking about, not on other people. I can talk about my books all day long. I can, look, I am sitting in front of you. I don't even see you guys. I have no idea. <coughs> Something is in my throat today. <coughs> Apologize, I need to drink a little bit. I have no idea who is even sitting in front of me. Okay? But I don't care about it. I'm 100% focused on what I am talking about. I'm focused on selecting what I want to say and feeling my tongue move. I know I can do it because I have done it thousands, if not millions of times over the course of my 62-year-old life. I've been moving my tongue nonstop. I know I can. Unfortunately, you do not have this experience. You do not have this knowledge. This is why I offer to anyone Come to me if you speak English language. What do you get to lose? Money? Money is just money. You can work more and earn more money. But you get to gain everything. Because I offer courses and 100% success guarantee of the three-day course. I guarantee 100%. 100% guarantee that if you stay with me for three days and you do exactly, precisely what I say, I tell you to do without asking stupid questions, not involving me in this endless conversation. Just do what I tell you to do exactly, precisely. Just do it. Move it. Move it. Speech is a muscular skill. You need to move your tongue. Then you're going to learn to move it. You get adjusted to using your instrument to any word. I guarantee if you do it for three days with me, you will drop your stuttering in almost no time. I guarantee. And I have had students who have taken even one day course. And guess what? They fix their speech even in one day. Yes, it's more challenging, much more challenging, because I do not give 100% guarantee for one-day students. And they are on their own. I teach them the basics, what I usually teach on the very first day of the three-day course, and I tell them what to do. But if they still believe I can't, they don't do it. And this is what happens. If you still believe I can't, I can't, you start and you stop moving. Stop moving your tongue. And a matter of fact, I have one student who did take the course, one day course, for almost two months ago, maybe one month ago. And he is finally coming back. He paid the difference. And I'm going to teach him for two more days. It's going to be very easy for me because he's already smart. He's already been taught. Okay, but I want to see what else is going on in his psyche, why he still believes I can't. Why? What is blocking him? I will see it during these two days. I will work on his psyche. Okay, and I will take his hand and walk him to his I can do it. I can moving, move my tongue just like everyone else. I can do it. 
And every time I move my tongue like everyone else, guess what? The tongue works. I produce beautiful words. I speak like everyone else. Just get out of your mind. Stop asking questions. Stop feeling that you are different, that you need a different, special, unique technique. No, you're no different. You're just like me. And you need to speak like me. You're just like all the kids in your classroom. You're just like all people at your work. You're no different. The only difference between you and them, they have moved their tongue for years and they have adjusted their instrument to say any word anytime in front of anyone with 100% certainty. And even if they do make mistakes, you know, people do make mistakes. It's not a big deal for them. They simply know what to do. They have learned it. They have trained their own speaking skills. People have different levels of skills. Of course, some speak with more mistakes, others with less. But what all people have in common, they never say, I can't in terms of speaking. Never. People who stutter always say, I can't. This is their favorite phrase, I can't. The word is not coming out. I'm not going to make it. I can't. I'm not able. They just love this. But once again, this is not reality. I know you can because you have the muscle. And because you have the muscle, you can learn to move it beautifully. Okay, let me again quickly. No, again, people are watching, but they are not asking questions on YouTube. Okay, very good. Let's continue. So here we go. I'm going to share the next success story. This is one of the recent ones, just a few months ago. This is the beautiful singer. Her name is Nicole from the United States of America. She also believed, and she was, yes, yes, Fatima. Thank you very much for listening, for joining me. And, of course, I'm waiting for you, by the way, I haven't mentioned Schedule your free 20-minute consultation with me. It's free. It's only 20 minutes. Okay? Only 20-minute talk. This 20 minutes will change your life forever. I guarantee. Okay? Because you will know what to do. You will know what solutions you have. But let's continue. Okay, here is Nicole, one of my favorites, of course. Beautiful singer. She wanted to go to audition and get play the role in some TV show. She was going to sing there. She's a jazz singer. So let's see what her problem was. The main problem you already understand. She kept telling herself, I can't. I can't. Look at her. I can't. And how she even reacted to her own I can't to her own blockage. She blocked herself from doing what I knew she could do, but she blocked herself. Watch. not read it won't come out she said this is what she said it won't come out like the word is a creature a live creature it's gonna come out right like a snake crawling out of the <laughs> whatever hole you need to know what to do in order for the word to come out and what the word is every word is a stream of gas it's gonna come out if you're going to do certain things, the same things that all people on the planet are doing, and then the word will come out. But she needed to learn 
stop believing I can't and begin believing yes, I can and focusing on doing whatever I taught her to do. So you already saw a little piece of, let me go back a little bit. Okay, so I want you to see the difference. Let's go. Oh, come out. You opened my eyes to what three. stuttering is and why a person stutters. Things I never really knew my whole life. Thank you for your insight and your time, your knowledge. Thank you for teaching me and opening my eyes to a whole new world with my speech. Okay. I mean, do I need to add anything? I think she was so articulate. I don't think I need to add anything. You need to understand when you, number one, when you understand how to do things and you begin doing it, that's it. There is no barrier. I'm going to give you a very simple example. Imagine you want to learn to speak a foreign language, okay? In the beginning, you come to the class, I'll just give you an example of how I wanted to learn to speak Spanish. And I took the class from college. It was a college course, the beginning. So I came in the classroom and I took the class. I did my best. I was working really, really hard to learn few words. And I ended up actually with a present, receiving a present from a teacher the teacher <laughs> gave me a present at the end of the class because she thought I was the best student. Number one, I was the oldest one in the classroom. And she was amazed with the progress I made in the class. I was actually amazed receiving a present. But little did that teacher know that she actually turned me off from learning Spanish. You know how she did it? At the end of the class, where they, we were supposed to give a little speech about ourselves, I wrote it down, I prepared the speech, and I gave my speech. I still remember you saw it, uh, La Terapista de Lenguaje, or something like this. I don't remember already, okay? You saw it. So I gave the speech. It was all thought all, it was grammatically correct, everything was perfect, okay? But on that day, she decided to introduce the grammar of Spanish language. She spent about an hour explaining to us the Spanish grammar, and she wrote it on the board. She wrote, there was a huge board, classroom board, in the classroom and she took the whole space on that board to write to us explain spanish grammar and the longer she was explaining the more my eyes were going like bigger 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 <laughs> i'm like i will never be able to learn this grammar yes fatima you understand what i'm talking about if you haven't learned grammar Spanish grammar, since you were a child, it's going to be challenging to learn grammar. But the, that Spanish speaker, Spanish language teacher made a mistake. She shouldn't have told us this. She should have encouraged us. She should have told us, yeah, you're going to learn. It's a piece of cake. Just slowly but surely learn it. As you go, you will learn. And guess what? I never took Spanish classes anymore after that. I regret, still regret, because I live in Florida and Spanish language is spoken everywhere. I wish I could speak Spanish. Of course, it's never late. I can still do it, but kind of my mind is busy with something else. And I am envious of my daughter watching her speaking Spanish. She just... Like yesterday, she told me, Mom, I have 2,000 words in Spanish in my vocabulary. I'm going, whoa, good for you. And she goes like, yes, but I speak like only in present tense. I cannot say anything in past tense, in future tense. 
her grammar is all, so what? She will learn eventually. Okay, so you understand what I'm talking about. But let's talk, okay, let me show a few more. Yeah, I have a few more students. Would, we, would you like to see a few more reports? Let's do it without, I don't even see your answer, but let me just show you a few more. Oh no, this guy is from Sweden. I remember it now. You know what, I forgot. From some kind of a Spanish, not uh, from European country. Don't remember what country he was from. Let's go. Here is how he came to me. I just feel something that's holding me back. And for a very long time, I used to go and I used to, I used to go and this for my reasons for all for hobby. Can you hear how he's speaking? <laughs> he just for sure. I mean, I'm explaining to you, of course he can't because he's not using accurately his instrument. His speech is a mess. Just comprising everything together. It's not accurate at all, but I'm not going to stop the video. I want you to see what happened to him on day number three and look, watch the difference. I used to hide behind my standards. I used to blame it for so many things that I feel I have not achieved in life thus far. But from this day onwards, there is no more excuses. So I feel like you've given me some superpowers. You know, that's how the feeling is. It's like I had this anchor that was pulling me down, and I could not move. And now it's removed. And not only can I swim, I can actually fly now. I feel light. I can do whatever I set my mind to. Uh -huh. ah, okay, this is the one, the next one. Okay, so once again, let me push the button. Once again, did you hear his words? I feel light. I have the feeling of liberation. Yes. The moment our students come to us, they become liberated because they finally understand what their problem is we explain them that before when you said i can't you could not of course you can't because you simply <coughs> you are not familiar <coughs> with your instrument <coughs> god i promise it <coughs> it's not covid <coughs> Okay, so of course he could not speak because he didn't know what instrument he had and how he was supposed to use it <clears throat> for accurate production, okay? But after he learned it, of course, he gained superpowers. He became liberated. He can say anything he wants anywhere in front of anyone. But he has to continue learning words. <clears throat> this is the only thing that my students have to continue doing, learning words with the movements of the tongue. Because they don't know. Their vocabulary is very limited. Yes, you may know words, how they sound. You may know words, how to write them as a muscle memory. Okay? But you don't know how to say them. This is a muscle memory of your tongue and until you have memorized have built the muscle memory of your tongue there is a chance you're going to make mistakes i mean it takes more time <clears throat> to put the word together and make sure you are saying the word accurately so this gentleman i remember he is from <clears throat> from india should have prepared water for myself <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, so extremely smart, extremely intelligent man from India. Because after being a problem, uh, I have tried various speech therapists and other 
courses, but things are just staying the same. Okay. I just caught it when he started speaking <laughs> on day number three. <clears throat> I'm going to repeat what he said. He has tried speak, he has tried several speech therapists. That's what he said. He has tried therapists, but things stayed the same. Why? Because once again, unfortunately, speech therapists believe <clears throat> that you are broken. They believe, really believe, they've been trained. I was a speech therapist for 30 years in my life. I also believe this, that people who star are broken, that they have some incorrect brain, broken brain, incorrect wiring on the brain, of the brain, that they are genetically predisposed, that they are genetic freaks, that there is something wrong with their breathing, there is something wrong with their <clears throat> speech muscles, something wrong with this, with that, at the physiological level, including the brain. And this is why they never ever teach people who stutter how to speak correctly, normally, like everyone else. They keep giving you guys techniques to speak. But do normal people use any techniques? Ask any normal speaker. Look at me. I'm a normal speaker. I've never called myself a stutterer, although, of course, when I was young, and if you were listening to this broadcast <clears throat> for from the beginning, you heard my conversation with Muhammad, and I told him, just when I was a little girl, of course I was making mistakes. I was some kind of a stutterer. But nobody told me that I was a stutterer. This is why I never stopped moving my tongue and adjusting movements of my tongue to saying accurately words. Once again, Speech therapists do not know. They have not been trained to teach you how to use this speech instrument for accurate speech production. They only teach you techniques. And it is the technique that makes you to stutter even more. Every form of stuttering is the form, I mean, every form of technique, every technique is a form of stuttering. That's what I wanted to say. Got confused a little bit. Every technique, tip, treats, tricks, whatever, recommendations of how to speak fluently, it's a form of stuttering because normal people never speak according to any technique. Please understand. Okay, so let's continue and let's listen to and let's watch the transformation once again. Day number three. This is the beautiful speech of a gentleman from India. This is the beginning of day number three. Just listen and watch. And watch how his psychic has been totally different. What I found about this program is that it is very basic and simple. The course was very efficient in letting me know where I should change the way I speak, how I should do it, and what I need to know. Uh, ups, ups, ups. <clears throat> okay, so, okay, actually, let's go to the next one. I think there are just a couple of them. This girl is from Sweden, and she also was the one who <clears throat> had a hard time believing that she can't. She came to me and she kept repeating, I can't, I can't, I can't. That was her favorite phrase. Even after the one-day course, because she is the one who took one-day course, and then she came back to me, paid the difference, and took two more days. Okay? Even after one-day course, she kept saying, I can't. Let's listen. I mean, like, I'm so sure about... Uh... And I, I was sure about myself, I don't trust myself, so I, um, yeah, I get started overwhelming because, um, yeah, and I, um, I, 
Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, yeah, but. How much did she tell you? Did you hear what she told? How much sense <laughs> did it make your, what, how many seconds? I don't remember. Maybe for 30 seconds she was talking and she said nothing. <clears throat> because she believed she can't. That was her phrase in her head. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. And look at her personality. She's just looking down, shy, hiding. Now look at the change in personality in only three days. Totally different person. I went down and talked to my family almost all day. I want to say thank you to you for giving me such a valuable information. You helped me to raise a lot of confusion. I'm just grateful for finding you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to... Okay, so I'm going to comment a little bit. Did you hear, did you see how she was like totally differently? She was even sitting differently. And I never work on how you sit. I don't care. People can speak even when they lay down and when they in this position. It doesn't matter. It's just naturally, when you know what to do, you become so confident. You begin smiling. You become yourself. You awaken your human soul that has been asleep in all 80 million people who start. Your soul is asleep. And this is what we do in the Erelon Unblocking School. We simply awaken your personality human personality all of a sudden you meet yourself you're not that shy person you are a great speaker and you want to speak and you want to share your ideas you want to help people with the words if they forgot the word you want to give them your words you want to get up on stage and do the presentation you want to argue <clears throat> When someone begins to argue, you begin arguing back. You want to be that person who, when you see something wrong, you tell people, hey, guy, I'm angry at you. Why are you doing this? Don't do it. Stop it. You want to be that guy, that person. Of course, it makes you so comfortable, so confident. And this happens in only three days in my classroom. Uh, sometimes this confidence comes with experience. Maybe you need a few more days, but you're going to have to speak, 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 of course. But in three days, your problem is solved. 100% guarantee. I guarantee your success. If you are with me for three days, if you work with me, you do exactly what I do, tell you to do, stuttering vanishes vanishes is a good word okay so i think this guy or maybe he's not the last one i don't remember so this gentleman is from canada but he speaks english as a second language i think originally he is from ecuador he's also spanish-speaking guy just i'm not gonna stop okay let him speak before the class and after the class i think this is the last one let's see I don't know apply the techniques that I have been learning during during the last. Oh, sorry, I forgot to share. <laughs> I forgot to share. This is why I'm telling you guys, whoever is Fatima, if you're still watching, go subscribe to my YouTube. That's where, no problem, you'll see everything. Ten years. Normal people, they look like, well, why this guy is talking like a robot? A robot. A robot, and um, so this is the, the kind of feedback people give me. The course was easy; it was enjoyable. Overall, it was fantastic. I could, for the first time, argue with someone, a stranger, and it was really nice. <laughs> yes, I am a normal person. Okay. Oh. Ah, we don't need to watch it again. 
Okay, so this is the end of the new compilation for 2019-2020. I kind of put it together. Okay, do you have any questions? Fatima, you can have a question. And if I don't see questions, it's kind of a sign for me to wrap it up for today and actually for this year. So I'm going to give you a couple more minutes to ask a question. I'm going to stop sharing this here and I'm going to start sharing again. And this time I'm going to share again the image I was talking about. Here is the image. Once again, I'm going to remind you that what I am here for, I'm here to take your hand <clears throat> and walk you through in my school from I can't to I can. <clears throat> from being this P person on the left, I wanted to say not P, <laughs> I wanted to say people, but youth kind of changed the, my word to people, people to person. That's why I stumbled as well. See, I understand why I stumbled. Of course, it's not good of me. So let me make sure I don't stumble anymore. So I am walking, will walk you from a person on the left to a person on the right. You see one person on the left is covering their mouth on top on the second floor and on the bottom floor, on the first floor, and then on the right side of the building who are looking out of the windows, happy, happy people. Their problems are solved. And if you want to watch videos about their success, all you need to do is just go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there are close to 400 videos on YouTube channel about different people speaking different languages. And uh, what's going on now, oh, whatever. Ah, okay. So once again, I would like to give a little speech to you guys. See, I even moved to my Christmas tree, see? I don't even believe in cutting Christmas tree. This tree is growing from the pot. It's a special tree that is growing since last year. So let me go back to YouTube, see if anyone is watching me. Oops, I actually wanted to do this. So let me tell you the last words in this year for those of you who have been watching me a lot this year, okay? The ones who have been listening to me and the ones who have been preparing themselves to quit stuttering, I want to thank you. And I want to encourage you to come to the teacher and fix your speech. Get rid of this nightmare. Awaken from this nightmare. Stop stuttering forever. And you're stuttering in only three days or less. And I will give you a 100% success guarantee for doing this. Okay? Lots of love to you. And I wish you a lot of good deeds in the new year, a lot of good health, a lot of good information, a lot of new revelations about a lot of things about who you are, finding yourself, it's very important. And finally realizing that yes, you can do anything you want in this life and you can live for the rest of your life, starter free and help others with a lot of other things, okay? Once again, do good deeds, love yourself, give your love to other people, and happy, happy new year, and happy, happy, challenging. Yes, the new year will be very challenging, 
but really exciting year of transformation of 2021. Bye-bye. See you next year. Bye-bye.